Thank you very much, Lizzie. Jackie, one more beverage. Well, thanks, Mom. This will do. Okay. Elizabeth, what about you? Each time I have more than just a cup, Mom, I end up dozing in class and waking up during the questions and answer sessions. Last time it happened, the teacher asked what the capital of Uganda was, and I said, Idi Amin. <laughs> Lucy, how did you know that? Uh, actually, Mom, I've been taking her in her personal classes, and she also used my textbooks. Really? That's really cute, you know. I hope you take your sisters in personal. If she wants to. If she wants to, you're all uh, right. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Good morning, Dad. Exactly. Good morning, Dad. Morning, my Good morning. prince. Morning, my princess. Morning, my darling. How are you? Morning, Dad. So tell me, how does your dad look this morning? Mm, gorgeous. Gorgeous. He's handsome. Handsome. Great kids. Hey, baby, how do I look? I've been married to you for 10 years. So? And each time we wake up like this, she always asks me this question. And I always tell you, you look splendid and gorgeous. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? Nobody says it's better than she does. Thank God I'm married. Dad, I thought that was what you usually say before you give mommy a peck. She's right, though. Uh. Make that peck snappy, it's 7.30. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 Claire does, and um, please bring my bags downstairs. Okay. 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 Wow, hello, Esther. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, how was your weekend? It's splendid. Great, anything for me? Yeah. Um, two memos from Mercury Investment and the Lingering Market File. Okay, good. I'll turn to them in a couple of minutes, okay? Yes. How are you? Hey. Good morning, boss. Have you ever heard of the term invasion of privacy? Nope. Not in this part of the world. How was your weekend, man? Fantastic. And yours? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> How's your wife and kids? You know, they'll be a whole lot better if they finally get to attend your wedding pretty soon. Come on, Michael, get off my case. Where has it become a sin to be a bachelor? It isn't. Deciding to remain one for the rest of your life is. Dixon, get the wives. Can we change the topic? Business, maybe? You want to know my diagnosis? I think you have a phobia for marriage. Prescription? See a psychologist. And luckily, my wife is one. I'll foot the bill. <laughs> Get a wife, Jason. Get a wife. Yeah. What's that? I can't get this one. Okay, okay. I'll go through it.
have been going behind my back. Margaret, it is not what it looks like. She's only. She's only a what? Deji, what's going on here? Deji, Deji, is this your buttercup? Deji, is this your buttercup? Can you on earth ah. tell me what this is all about? Sandra, stay out of this. You don't ask me to stay out of this until you tell me who this thing is. What thing? Deji, me. Margaret. Then, between you and her, who is a teen here? Who is a teen here? Stay out of this. Do you know that she is my wife? Oh, really? Well, it's a pity that I can't hide my disappointment. Because she doesn't look a bit it. I do not look a bit it, right? I do not look a bit it. But I will show you what it looks like. I will show you what it looks Ma like. Ma 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 Margaret. That's it. Margaret. That's it. That's it. I will show you what I look like. understand what your heart is going through right now. It's better off if you have a sharpened knife go through your heart. I understand the betrayal you're going through. I really do. That is broken. This heart is pierced. Do you still love him? Nelly, how can you ask me a question like this? How can you? Yeah. Apart from being your friend, I am a psychologist and human relationships are
now a part of my specialty. Jenny, you can't understand. You can't. Not even if you try. Look at you. You have a perfect marriage. A perfect husband. A happy home. What else does anyone wish for? Maggie, this is not about me, Maggie. This is about you. Jenny, why is my different? Look at me. Why can't I have your kind of home? Come on. Not all marriages are made in heaven, Maggie. Sure, no doubt. Mine is made in hell! He was a nationalist, the head of state of the First Republic. Uh, he was on the forefront of the battle for Nigerian independence and also as the emergence of the Republic, too. Yeah, but he's not the only one, though. We have like minds, you know, like that, such as um, Aulowo, Usman Danfodio. Uh, Wait a minute. Don't they teach you this in school? Uh, not exactly, Dad. Not exactly, Dad. We always use most of the time for computer and science studies. And then they leave the history. We have to change the school. <sighs> okay, kids. Um, for this study. Nothing about me, Jack. Nothing at all. Listen, let me tell you. I will beat your mother in cooking any time, any day. Ask her. Okay, Dad. Tell me one ingredient tips in cooking. Uh, water. You are playing smart, Dad. Now mention another ingredient. Oil. You are so cunning, Dad. Is it oil an obvious answer? Alright, tell me what type of oil is used in preparing or hot soup? Olive oil. Okay, 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 everybody, enough of this question and answer, okay? Let's sit down and um, let's have our prayers before we start eating. Okay. Close your eyes, everybody. Close your eyes, darling. Eyes closed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for this food. We pray that even as we start eating, that it goes that into our body to nourish our body. We also extract favor. Blessings, love, happiness, and ending love for it in the mind of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <sighs> I feed them. Mm -hmm. They should look healthy. They are our children. Mm. To my darling angel. I'd have fed you, my prince and my princess, but no way. I'm not sharing my food with you guys. You had enough. I love you. 
I love you so much. And yeah, okay, I love you too. I love you too. Like, I love you always. You're my joy. My world. And my life. I love you too. I love you too. What's on your mind, Jenny? Do you have something you want to tell me? Why aren't all men like you? Hmm. Now that's a tough question. You know, Margaret caught her husband with another girl. The university school student. Wait, not, what more did he want? What more was he looking for? Hard to say, Jenny. You know, I would have postulated the theory that all men were dogs if I didn't have you in my life. <laughs> well, you know, such experience will do nothing, really. You'll only make us value what we share and what we have. You are a blessing. I love you so much. And I love you too. Come now, come and sleep. Tell me about your new catch. Who? Rosie? Rosie, Angelica, Inkiru, did I leave any other feminine name out? Come off it, man. Am I that bad? Look, this Rosie is nothing short of an angel. She's beautiful, humble, she's a dancer. What more could a guy ask for? Are you for real? Mm hmm Hmm. I must say that's quite something. Someone has finally got your attention. So she's not one of those Angelica Chinyere. No, Michael. A thousand times no. This one is different. So what are your plans? Use and dump? Far from it, man. My plan is to get to answer Mrs. Dixon Dupin. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no pranks, friend. If I'm lying, I'm dying. This is really good. So have you proposed? Not yet. She's just in her final year. Unless she drops the pen, I'm gonna call the priest to teach us to say, I do, I do. <laughs> That's good. Good news. Mm, so let's drink mm. to that and get out of here because I promised my kids I'll meet them at the park. really given this a thought. Jenny, there is nothing to think about. Nothing. There is. There is something to think about. At least if you don't have anything to think about, why don't you think about your life? You're throwing it away. What would you tell a heartbroken friend who's been married to a liar for six good years? Margaret. Margaret, it's never always a lie from the beginning. It's usually not. Yeah, maybe then she did some other thing. Jenny, I don't want to ever hear that name again. There is no way we can escape that name. He's a subject. Deal with it. Deji is our subject. Jenny, I said... I don't want to hear the name mentioned again! Margaret.
Margaret. Margaret, you were going overboard. You were hurting yourself. You are losing it, Margaret. You were losing it. Jenny, you're damn right. I am losing it. You need to calm down. You really, really need to calm down. Okay? Please. Calm down. Jenny, I won't. I can't, Jenny. I won't or I'm true with that two-time bastard in the high court. Margaret, you've put in six whole years of your life into this union called marriage. All you can tell me is that you are throwing it away. Girlfriend, I don't think so. Jenny, I did not. He did. Uh, what's going on? Hi, darling. Am I interrupting anything? Nope. No. No. Professional capacity, right? Uh, okay. No. You guys have fun. Uh, how are you, Maggie? I'm fine. Hey. You see, Maggie. I'm sorry. We need to talk this over lunch or dinner or something, but not in my house. You know, I promised Michael that I would never bring official work into the home. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. No longer have respect for your husband's brothers. Which uh, are uh, So our presence here means nothing to you. In case you didn't notice, there are red caps on our heads. Which red cap? I hope this your red cap are not similar to the one this fool that calls himself Magnus puts on his own head. Because each time he has that red cap on his head, he reasons without senses. So Monica, hope... Monica take your time. So, you, you, you are indirectly casting aspersions on us? No! Uh -huh. I'm only making an illustration. Eh? Mm. See? Tell him to come out and bring that money. Okay. If he doesn't bring that money, uh -huh. hey! But one of us will stand before our ancestors. This time! Now, tell him more! If I may ask, which money are we talking about? Okay. Now, listen, if you want to listen. I want to visit my sister in Obachime. <laughs> My son, Michael, sent money for our upkeep. And I called my son from Ubachime and asked him, Magnus, not knowing that I had called my son from Ubachime, lied to me that he has not received any message from our son in Lagos. Eh? As I'm talking to you right now, not even one kobo is left from that money. So tell him to come out and bring the money up. Calm down. Magnus, but that Calm down, Monica. Ah. I okay. said calm down. Okay. You just might be blowing things out of proportion. And, and when you say squandered, one begins to wonder how much of this money is involved. 200,000 naira. 200,000 naira. 
thousand naira. Come. Tell him to come out and bring it to He must bring it out today. Ha! I can't come over that. Two hundred thousand naira. Bring the money out. Okay. You cannot escape me. No. If I have that kind of money, I will become a very big man. Hey! Adam. Eh? Ah! Okay, So let us ask her to be sure. To be sure that you know women, you know women. They can be wonderful. Yeah, Ada? Ada the man. Adora. Adu go. Okay. Do you mean that your son sends 200,000 naira monthly for your upkeep? Bam! And he squandered the whole money. He squandered it. Hey! Hey, whoa! Magnus! Butega! Magnus, come, 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 come. Come on! Take the money! Take the money! Come on! 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 Come Come out with it, oh. I can't stand you squaring it! It's a fun group. Yes, don't the kids just love it? They love it, it so much. You know, honey, this complicated world we live in can actually be weeded off its tom oils and paints. Happiness doesn't really necessarily come by requiring riches and wealth. It's about sharing and receiving love. I couldn't agree less. Especially when you have um, a lovely family, wonderful kids and a beautiful angel like yourself. Why are they running? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. This is Agnes. So how was the game? Fine. Huh? Fine. Fine? Oh, yes. Who won? Actually, I did. Good, that's my boy. I yeah. beat um, by two goals. Four, four? Yeah. Ah. I scored two goals. You scored two goals? She scored two goals? Uh, how did you do that? Oh man, Jack, you're so whack. I thought I had a culture in you, you know. Come on, darling. He's a boy, and boys play better than girls. Not all boys, mom. Next time, I'll score more girls too, you see. Liz, 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 listen now. I would rather you're not a footballer. I would rather you be a doctor, a lawyer. Doctor. Doctor, you like doctor? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would be... Uh... Yeah, nice. Nice, that would be really nice. A doctor, yeah, not a footballer. Okay, mm. uh... Dad, we would like to go over to the village and spend the holidays with Grandma and Grandpa. I'd really want to see them again. Yes, Dad. I want to learn how to do the traditional dance steps. Grandma promised to teach me. Traditional dance steps? That sounds splendid. Okay, um... When are they closing, the t closing for the term? When? Friday, honey. Friday? Friday. All right, kids. On Saturday, you go see your grandma and your grandpa. You better you go spend your time with holidays there. Okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enough. Enough. Okay. Let's pack up and go since everything has been arranged now. Okay. All right, Jack. Get the ball. Get the ball. Pack the motherfuckers. Make sure you pack a couple of things for the kids. Don't wait till the last minute, because if you do, they're going to mess up a whole lot of things, and you know that. I know, darling, I know. Yeah. Don't worry, Lucy's is going to take care of everything. I already have them stuff on their dirty clothes in the laundry. That's right. How do I look? Smart. Okay. Then I look like a million bucks. I like my man. Okay. 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 Okay.
a million dollars? My Rosie will be coming to town today, and um, you know what? Don't make me guess. We're planning to have a swell time at the Jeff Square, and I earnestly request a company. Really? Yeah. I told her so much about you, and it excites me that you're going to finally meet with her. You know, I really can't wait to set my eyes on that girl that has left an imprint in your heart. Ah. Well, you really have to meet with her, Michael. <laughs> It wouldn't be a problem at all hanging out with my best friend, with his wife, to be. He. <laughs> uh, you know, for the very first time in years, that word wife excites me. Well, then welcome to the club. <laughs> See you around. Yeah. fall in love again. Of course you can. <sighs> well, you know what? Let's just get through with this hair. And I'm sure after we're done, men will keep rolling at your doorstep. And that's for sure. Of course, Jenny, they will. But you know what? I think I'm true. I am dumb in my I would not let any man put tears in these my eyes anymore. I guess I'm in love with myself now. <laughs> what does that mean? Jenny, time will tell. <laughs> you know, I don't know what that means, okay? But I don't like the sound of it at all. But well, I'm happy for you. That at least you're gradually improving and getting back to your normal self. I'm really happy. Okay. After this hair, can you drive me to the more Miss Psychologist? <laughs> I actually need to do some shopping for myself too. Okay, no problem. Patient, I will. But um, we really don't have to take that long anymore because. I need to dash home and prepare something really nice for my Why? <laughs> Alright. I promise we won't break time. At least I will not want your lovely husband to miss a very good meal. <laughs> oh dear. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I would like to see your hair. Hey, what should I do? Something really nice, anything. But Something like long or short. Mm. I think I'll do the short. Let me do the short. But first, just take this thing off my head, please. Okay. Just can't stop staring at me, can you? Michael, I never thought I'll ever fall in love again. But Rosie here has transported me to another realm. I can't seem to stop dreaming and thinking about her. I'll refer to that more as bewitched, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret, 
I can't wait for you in the car. Oh, Jenny, come on. You know I could use some help to shop in. You know I'm not too good with colors. Oh, all right, fine. Just for the five minutes. Okay. okay. Run along so I can lock the car. Okay. That means you have to meet me up at the boutique section, right? Sure, I would. Waiting for me. I thought you said Thursday. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, okay, where exactly are you now? All right, just wait right there. I'll, I'll be there. As, I'll be there as soon as possible. What? I'll be there as soon as possible. Okay. I don't have a problem. What is it, John? My kid brother is to be coming into Lagos from Calabar and I confused the date and took um, Tuesday for Thursday. And um, he's been at the luxury park for close to two hours now and I... You guys will have to excuse me, I have to go pick him up. Then. Hey, yeah, who belong, okay? Besides, you're in safe hands. Uh, hey, Michael. Michael, please, take good care of my baby for me, okay? And remember when I used to stand in for you whenever you're not in town and Jenny comes visiting, huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's payback time, okay? Not like I have much of a choice now, do I? Um, she loves to be spoon fed. That would be a very good place to start from. You know, it's funny how the pendulum swings. He actually spoon fed my wife, too. <laughs> I'm grateful you remember that. Take your mind. All right, don't be long now. Mm -hmm. See you later, baby. So, he tells me you'll be graduating soon. Yes, in a couple of months. Wow, congratulations that air. Thank you. Great. And you truly like to be spoon fed, huh? Well, really, yes. Oh god, all you women. You you oh, women. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now tell me. Um small size or huge size? Huge size. Huge size. <laughs> yeah. Um, rice or you want some more? Uh, sorry, hold on a second. Ah, hello, baby. Hi, how are you? Who are you? Um, I'm I'm still at the office. Your office. Um, but I'll, I'll be leaving. I'll be leaving soon, though. I'll be leaving very soon. Okay. Okay. Fine. All right, then. Babies. Bye. That was my darling wife. Wow. Yes, your wonderful wife. Cheers. Wow. So how were you actually able to like, captivate my friend's heart? Yeah. That's a very interesting question. Oh gosh. Jenny. Oh no 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 baby it's it's it's, it's not what you think no it's not what you think at all believe me um she's um get your dirty hands off Jenny Jenny please Jenny 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 what is it Michael um nothing um let's just.
Hey Dixon, listen, listen. I really must go now. I have to leave here now, okay? Please, no, no, no. I, I just have a little crisis. I must go now, okay? Uh, and, and Rose is still here waiting for you. Please come and get her as soon as you can, okay? I really must go. No, no, no. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. What is it, Michael? I, I really have to leave. You can't leave me here. I am so sorry, but, but uh, Dixon is going to be back for you, okay? I really must go. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. You two timing, selfish, selfish kid. Oh, I see. You're worried about the kids, right? Why, Michael? Are you so sucked with guilt that you don't know how to face them? I'm talking to you. Are you? Answer me. Baby, I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean to hurt you. She she, she she's actually Dixon's girlfriend. Look, I only just accompanied them there. See, Dixon just left a couple of minutes before you came in. He went to pick his cousin that just came to town. And I guess that's, that's why you saw me and that lady together. How dramatic. You had it all planned out. A perfect life for your perfect stupid wife. Baby, please. My girl, her. Huh? My girl, I saw you feed her. I saw you feed her. You stand here and light to my face. Baby, please. Please, you're getting the whole thing wrong. I swear to God, believe me. I mean... Okay. I'm truly sorry that I lied to you about being in the office when I was not. But honestly, I just got there. And I didn't think it was any big deal explaining details to you over the phone. Even Dixon can attest to all this that I'm telling you right now. Baby, please. What do you think me for? A fool? Michael, am I a fool to you? No. <laughs> Obviously, Dixon will never disagree with you. He's your friend. Yes. And moreover, he might be a slimy flat like you are. Baby, please. Please, don't say that to me. You're hurting me. Baby, please. I couldn't love any other woman other than you. You're my joy. You're my happiness, baby. You're the reason why I leave. It's obvious you're cheating on me. So for now, just leave me alone! How can I explain this to her now? How? I, I don't know how else you want me to explain this to you, but please don't do this to me. I'm begging you. Can't you look for a better lie to tell? Baby, I could never, ever lie to you. I swear to God. You obviously do not realize that it takes only a fool to believe you. Huh, honey, I don't know how else I could possibly make you understand. But baby, you're not being fair to me. Are you being fair to me? Have you? Honey, honey, please, 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 I beg you. Bring your voice down. I don't want the kids to hear us shouting, please. Of course. Of course you don't. You would do anything to hide your shame from them. 
Anyway, I've cancelled that trip to the village. You did what? So you better make the best explanation to them why that is. What, what, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi, darling. Hi. Hi. Why I ask you if you were still going to the village? Well, um, actually... Mom. Fine, okay? You guys are going. You guys are going then. Are you happy now? Okay, it's way past your bedtime. You gotta get back to bed. Yeah. Good? Good night. 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 How could you ever believe that I could ever cheat on you like that? I couldn't do that! you to listen to I'm supposed to have a section today. I believe that's not really why you're here, is it? Okay, Jenny. <laughs> save it. Just save it. Save it, okay? I don't need it. Jenny. Are you hot? Hot. Hot? No. No, I'm not hot. Look, Margaret, okay? Just stop it. I, I can handle it. What on earth went wrong? How, how could he do this to you? I mean, what went wrong? I actually thought you guys were perfect together. I believe you guys were meant for each other. We are perfect together. And we were meant for each other. Sometimes, a woman has to ask herself the ultimate question. That question you could give the answer to. Jenny, you still love him, don't you? With all my heart, I do. With all my heart, I do. But first, he will pay for my heart. Feeling too well, okay? But 
She's in good hands. I'll take very good care of her. Yeah. Okay? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God, I forgot. Um, I... Oh, sorry. I wrote a letter for your grandparents and I left it in my bedroom. Now, Jai, go get it for me very quickly. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Run it down. Quick. Can you believe it? She thinks I'm cheating on her. I'm very sorry, Michael. Okay, can't can I just speak with her or something? You know, that's the problem. She wouldn't believe you. She'll simply think you're trying to cover up for me. That's what she's going to think. Hey, but still, you have to take it easy. It's, it's usual with women. She will definitely come around soon. <sighs> Michael, don't do this to yourself. I bought from Bachime. Hey, I forgot to tell you. I also added Edu, that's name, and there's Sam. <laughs> so you can imagine. <laughs> Monica, yeah. I thought you told me there was no food in this house. Yes. Mm. What I actually meant was that there's no food for you, Magnus, in this house. Hey! So now you want to starve your husband? How's it going? No husband. Husband Dumbo. Who is the husband? You, Magnus. <laughs> Don't forget I married you. I paid dowries. Thank you. Ah, Monica! You are taking this too far. You are taking this too far. And if it's about that money, I told you I invested in my rubber plantation. No problem. No problem. I'm not quarreling with that. See. Very soon, it will be the first week of a new month. And my son, Michael, will send another 200,000 naira. Remember, I'm the one who usually goes to collect it. Yeah? This time around, I will invest it in Abada and Hollandis plantation. <laughs> Alapai. 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 Okay, you go on. Nalai. Okay, you go on. Okay, make nanya. Look, Monica. Speak your mother tongue. Use your hand and draw your ears mm -hmm. to warn yourself. Oh. Come to my house. Oh! Hey! No! Monica! Hey, Monica! 
Monica! Mm. What is this? Look at the umbrella! What is what? Look at the umbrella! Speak your language! What, what, what is this? Uh, you don't have a big woman! You don't have a big woman! So this is my mother tongue! Speak your mother tongue! Sarasi, come to me! Sarasi, come! Sarasi! Ah! 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 Oh! Look at her! My children! Grandma! Grandpa! Are you both fighting? Fighting? Yes! We are doing moonlight play. <laughs> we are just trying to entertain you. In a pretty strange way, I must say. Yeah, strange way. That's how Adam enjoy their own moonlight play. Eh? Welcome, my children. Welcome, my dear. <laughs> you see, children, eh? I prepared wonderful soup. If you eat it, eh? You will not stop telling the story to your mommy. Come, let's go inside eh? and enjoy. Oh, come, you can join us. Okay, ma. Yes, ma. So, let's go. Go where? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it Go eat your kinky. Go eat your kinky. You are full of apple. Eh, hey, now? You are apple woman. Oh, Morocco. You. Wangala. Eh? Eh, man, you get. You take the lead. I'll come. I'll come. I'm not feeling too hungry. <laughs> You go to shut us and I eat. Who getting big woman? Who getting big? Who getting big? Or bad in Tintin? Or bad Hey! Hey! Or bad Benny, Grammar. Or bad Benny. 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 Or why? Ah, for the past five days now, all I've been doing is explaining to you and apologizing, but yet you wouldn't listen. Why? I am not a cheat. I have never cheated on you all my life. I haven't. Jenny, I have not. You have to believe me. Come on, please. And I thought that Dixon's explanations would have changed things, but no, you remain adamant. Jenny, why? Why now? You know what you are? You're a little sulking chit. Seeking for favor. You know what? I would not give you that favor. Jenny, will you stop it? Why are you talking to me like that? What, what, what has come over you? What is wrong with you? Huh? I could never trust you. You know what? Raising your voice at me. Yelling would not help you one bit. So you better stop it. Stop it! Is it? Yeah. Fine. Oh. Fine too! Fine! Where is the love? We used to know. Where did it go? A home where once there was peace is falling to pieces. How can this be? This it's really hard to believe. It's Michael really cheating on you. I wouldn't even bother myself about it. Not at all. But like you said, could he have sounded so romantic on the phone if the girl was really his? Anyway, women, they do not have shame. They go around chasing married men. I wonder what they want. Is it the money? Or the companionship, or maybe sex. My dear friend, I do not care what it is because men are dogs. Exactly. But sometimes they waggle their tails, and sometimes they really need to be spanked. Anyway, did you call yesterday? What did he say? 
nothing really important to say. My girl has been on his knees. It's hard for you, right? work late today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work late today and after I'm done, I'll go out there and get naughty. Okay. I'll get naughty. You'll bring her back to her senses. She'll come begging me. She'll come. Mm. <sighs> now that was hot. <laughs> You're acting pretty strange, Michael. Really? Well, let's just say this is a new Michael. What you say? Oh, come off it, Michael. We both know the real you. Oh, Dixon, please. Could you just be less moral conscious? I wish I could. But I don't see the point in all of this thing. In a minute. What? In a minute. Dixon. What? Just... Trace my gaze. Lord have mercy. Holy Jesus. No, Michael. Huh? Huh? What? What? You are not going to do this. Really? Well, stop me. Ever heard of the word irrational? Well, this is exactly what that looks Can like. You save the lectures till I return at least. Married, Michael. That is what you are. Repeat that to yourself a couple of times and my help. Have you ever heard of married and tired? Maybe you should repeat that to yourself and you understand where I'm coming from. You know what? Get yourself some more drink, keep yourself company, and I'll be back shortly. And I hope I don't come back alone. Michael. Easy. Hello, dear. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Wow, red wine, Bobal Shiraz. That must be a lady's favorite, isn't it? <laughs> what are you? A psychologist? I prefer the term ladies man. Whoa, what a way to get introduced. <laughs> you find that appealing? Mm, appealing would be too extreme. Interesting should be appropriate. Oh, interestingly appealing then, right, 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 huh? <laughs> you have a sweet tongue. Is that your strength? Oh, slow it down, mama. Just slow it down. Mm, wait till you hear my killer line. <clears throat> really? Okay, I'm all in. Oh, well, we'll take a rain check on that one for another date, huh? <laughs> Don't you think we're driving too fast here? <laughs> mm. I can't find my brakes. Well, use mine. Is he the one that will feed you or are you toddlers? At home, we always eat as a family. Mommy and daddy says it fosters love and unity. <laughs> love, Umba. <laughs> See, your grandpa and I are old. Love is only meant for young couples like your mother and your father. Hmm? <laughs> Grandma, yes. does it mean you no longer love Grandpa anymore? <laughs> this children will not kill me. Me, love Magnus. That was 30 years ago now. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> 
But mommy and daddy also says that love should grow between couples till when they are old and grey. Enough of your questions now. Hmm. Your grandpa and I have your little Okay? Just speak to them. Quarrel, 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 quarrel. Our husband and wife are supposed to quarrel. Don't your parents quarrel? No, never. Grandma, we are not going to eat this food though. Hey, we are not going to eat unless Grandpa joins us here. Oh. Ha. Even my mouth is not touching this guy. Oh. Hey. You don't want to eat, eh? Uh, okay. Go ahead and wait for your great, 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 great grandfather. Me, I'm ready to eat my own food. So you can sit down and watch me eat. Oh? Get up and go to my room. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh. Did it occur to you that, um, <coughs> that I actually found my way home by myself? Yes, what do I want to? Let's go. Michael. Yes. That is my name. What? Are you a dog? Have you been drinking? No, baby. Come on. Can you drink? You know I don't drink. I've also been drinking! Is there anything bad in that? Michael. Yes, what? You have been with a woman. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> Who were you with? Just, um, excuse me. I'm asking you a question and I demand an answer now. I said, excuse me.
Yeah. It's barely daybreak. And I don't want any of those troubles of yours. Now, you know the way to which you came. And please, if you remember the way you do this, reverse and go from where you came. Please. Yeah, don't just try to make anything out of my presence here. I just said since our grandchildren are here on holidays, uh, it would be nice if we try to settle this quarrel. That is it. Settle quarrel? Yes. Just get up and ask me to forgive you so we can settle it. Monica, me, Magnus, Ablo, Uvi, Obako, Nanaba, Oniniba, Togbi, Togbi, Beji, eh? Royal blood from Ghana to apologize to you, Monica. Because we're not okay. It begins as a Ojin Naka. You are proud to ask her, Ojin Neka. Abra, bra, 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 bra of Ghana. Fill out there, mate. Just get on your knees and ask me for to forgive you. So we can settle this matter. I, I think something is worrying your head this morning. Babari or you, it will come from your head. But I'll save you the embarrassment of standing before the Igwe in council for you to repeat the same thing you just said. Now leave my room. Hey, Magnus, I don't want you to die of hunger. Apologize to me now that you have the chance to. Get up now and apologize to. Hey. Monica, if it is you who will kill me out of hunger, then let it be. After all, I didn't come to complain to you, did I? Apologize to me now. Hey, I don't want the villagers to accuse me that I stabbed you to death. I wash my hands off you. I put just to me now that you have, still have the chance. Magnus. Look, Monica, I will never beg you. I won't beg you today. I will never beg you tomorrow. Eh? And if I will never beg you to fear one over my dead body. Shameless man. Did you hear what, what I called you? I said, you are a shameless man. Useless man. Thank you. You are pretending as if it's not paining you. I know it's paining you. Oh, oh. Monica, thank you. Thank you. Idiot! Idiot! Michael, have you been able to make me pregnant again? Eh? Important man! Monica! Yeah, if you want me to shout it, I'll shout it! Monica! Important man! Moni Monica! Can you hear that? Listen! going on in this village or something? Of course there is. <laughs> but this time, it's um, between grandma and grandpa. <laughs> That you came into my house drunk last night with lipstick stains all over your shirt. I'm 
talking to you. And I need answers now. Well, my dear Jenny, that's a rather shallow observation because if you were less agitated, you would have noticed that I was not only drunk, but also happy. Michael, I am losing it with you, okay? I am so losing it with you. You don't expect me to condescend to such question now, do you? I thought so. I am losing it with you, do you understand? I am... Painkiller should ease the pain before you. And as of the dressing, I'll come tomorrow to dress it. Okay. Mama, make sure that you apply the ultimate regularly. The swelling will go down in a couple of days. Gene. Mama, I said the swelling will go down in a couple of days. So he bribed you to give me partial treatment? Eh? He has given you a bribe. I don't understand you, ma. You told him that his own pain will go down before noon. But when he came to my own thumb, you now said in a couple of days. So what is the meaning of that? Mama, what you have is a bruise. You cannot just expect the swelling to go down just like that. I want it to disappear. Even if it means going through an operation, I don't mind. Okay. I'll come back in the evening with more drugs. And I shall promise you, the swelling will go down faster than you expected. Maybe I'm Get back in Kuroko. Can not come in a couple of days? Huh? I'll take my leave now. Oh, uh, yo. I'll come back in the evening. Yo. Oh. Bye. Yo. Uh, thank you very much, Ness. Okay, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Odi Beze! Odi! Emenike! Emenike! Please come. Uh, Adi. Ma? Go and get me some water to take my drugs, Biko. No, Grandma. I'm not going on any errand. What did you just say? You heard her. She said she's not going on any errand. Why? Are you are? Uh? Are you uh? are? <laughs> These are my good children. My blood. <laughs> children, you are so good. Now they know the sort of grandma they have. Eh? They know. Uh, Selassie, uh, uh, Abna, go and get me some water. Let me take mine. Eh? Really? Grandpa, that goes to you too. Eh? Eh, mom. Now they also know the sort of grandpa they have. <laughs> one one. <laughs> We're tired of you both quarreling and going on each other's throat. So we decided to... To go on a strike until you both return to the grandma and grandpa we used to know. Hmm. Why do we fight like cats and dogs? Where is the love? We used to know, where did it go? A home where once there was peace is falling to pieces. How can this be? This cannot be. Waiter! This table, please, on the double. Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia. Yes, sir. You know something? If beauty had a face, you surely would be called one. You have such a way with words, sweet. Really? You think? Yeah. I can't say I don't want to hear You know, my lips are kind of heavy right now. A little peck would do them good, you know. Mm -hmm. ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're very funny. Really? Mm -hmm. I tried stand-up comedy some time ago, but I guess I got too tired of stand-up. <laughs> 
stop. I could roll out the city. They just stop. stop. Uh, I don't uh. say my arms are not strong enough to hold you if you try to fall. <laughs> you. <laughs> it seemed to me you want to do this again. Um, I guess it wouldn't be out of place to add fortune telling to your resume. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Okay, I'm game. You game? Mm -hmm. I think that we have. Wait up! <laughs> I'm sure you like Obono, right? Obono soup and uh, some more for her, please. Agreed. Plan A failed. Well, it didn't really fail. It just wasn't a success. I guess I stretched things a little beyond limits. But that doesn't give him the right to keep late nights and come home drunk. Michael is not the drinking type. He's never had any romance with a beer bottle. Fine. Maybe he's depressed. Men get like that sometimes. Or maybe he's trying to... Hello, psychologist. Hello, Marcy. Look at you. You look so gorgeous. Oh my God. Mm. So how are you? How are you? I just came into town and I decided to come and say hi. Oh, that's so nice of you. That's really nice. How's Frederick? Thank you. Fine. Really? Thank you for your counseling. Oh, I'm so right. I just we're able to get over our problem. Really? Yeah. And we actually adopted a child in Kotaka last month. Wow! Oh my God, Mercy, I am so, so happy for you. A girl. A girl. Mm, congratulations. A year and six months now. Gee, and six yeah. months? She's a big girl. Yeah. I'm excited to call her Peace. Peace. Oh my God, that's so melting my heart. Really? What if you have invested on Peace and name a child who brought Peace into your home? Peace is down there. Ah, uh, it's Michael. Mm. Michael is fine. He's fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not sure, you see, I'm so sorry. My bad. Please accept it. Uh, what would you think? We have juice, we have wine, we have champagne, we have um, coffee, I have bunny. I have everything. You know, let me get some for you. Jane. Yeah. I don't know if this is my business. I ran into Michael yesterday. With a lady. With a man in a compromising state. Jane. Is everything okay? I know there's a case I know you which you can handle. You've handled several, including mine. But I know you can do the same to yourself too. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself, okay? Oh my god. What? 
I haven't read this chapter of the book. I haven't even read this book at all. Oh, stop hitting me. What book? Uh, the book of jealousy. It's, oh my God. That's what he's doing. He's making me jealous. Tell me about it. So, will you cook for me? Which one is your favorite? Obono. Obono. Yes. Sweet. Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Oh, sure, sure. Right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Can we leave now? Oh my yes. God. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I forgot to tell you. So, so flattered. I forgot to tell you that uh, I'm supposed to catch up with Sweet. Um, my manager. I have an appointment right now. <laughs> Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. No. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. 
Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. No. Uh, little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. I say, who is there? Come back here. Come back here, I say. Who are you? You must be new in this environment. Yes, sir. Who are you then? Jack, sir. Jack? Jack who? Jack Okonkwo. Jack Okonkwo? That means you are my nephew. Jack, please come. Come, come closer. I won't hurt you. Come. Please come. Come, Jack. Jack. Uncle. Yes. You're blind. Oh, yes, I am. But you play good music. Oh, you like it? Yes. Good. Um, do I play one for you? Yes. So, when is your birthday? Mine was two months ago. Oh, what a shame. But my sister's is next month. You have a sister? Of course. Why is she not here with you? Can you keep a secret? Yes, why not? I sneaked out of the house. <laughs> boys will always be boys. Oh, um... Do you want to learn the song? Of course. You want to learn it? Okay, um, say after me. Little girl, don't cry, daddy is coming. Little girl, don't cry, daddy is coming. Yes. Little girl, don't cry, daddy is coming. Little girl, don't cry, daddy is coming. That's a third one. Little girl, don't cry, tease. Your special day. Little girl, don't cry. It's your special day. Little girl, don't cry. Daddy is coming home. Daddy is coming soon. Okay, now um, let's let's see if we can sing it. All right? Yeah. So Jack, when will you bring your sister over? Okay. okay, that would be that would be great. Now let's sing the song. Um, wait a minute. Are you ready? Yeah, of course. You ready? Yeah. Good. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. It's your special day that is coming home. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> She's trying to get at me, Vixen. Me. <laughs> oh, man. What actually did they come to do? They came in. Sat down, had drinks, 
and then started getting intimate right in my presence. Put a stop to this game, Michael. I mean, this is spinning out of control. Why don't you call your wife, sit her down and talk to her? I've talked to her, Dixon. How else do you want me to talk to her? I've told her everything that I could. This has been out of control. I'm going to make her regret this. I swear. This, I promise her. <laughs> okay. The game has begun. Why do we fight like cats and doubts? Where is the love? We used to know, where did it go? A home where once there was peace is falling to pieces. How can this be? This cannot be. Lack of trust, pride and ego. Can cause a lot of problems, you know It may be just a simple mistake That requires immediate Jack, what are you doing there? Can destroy a beautiful relationship. Oh, 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 why do we fight like cats and dogs? Where is the love? We used to know where did it go? Oh, where once there was peace is falling to pieces. How can this be? Wait, come, Dizzy. Do you think what we are doing is the right thing? <laughs> and what do you mean by that? The strike, the strike, of course. It could be mistaken for act of stubbornness. You know? I thought we both agreed on it. Uh, yes, but... Yes, but what? You are hungry, that is why you are loving now, eh? Become a place where there is no peace Because of pride and ego Oh, there is no trust It could self-destruct Something must be done before it all goes wrong. Monica, whatever the reason, at least before these children, we should we should appear as friends that have settled this quarrel. Just thank your stars. Just thank your stars. Me? Thank my stars. Thank my stars. You seem to have forgotten that this call for peace was not initiated out of sheer cowardice. Monica, I'm telling you, this time I'm ready for you. Sword for sword, pickers for pickers. Eh? Uh -huh. Selassie. Your grandfather and I have settled. There is now peace. Yes, oh, my children. You know what? Your grandma came to me, kneeling down, begging me to forgive her. I did. Isigeni, what did you say? Eh, Magnus? As I was saying, children, you need to see what your grandmother did. She knelt down, crying, crying begging for me to forgive her because there was nothing I could do. 
Mm -hmm. And as the saying goes, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Excuse us for a minute. What did you say? That I came to beg you, Mua. What else do you expect me to say? For a quarrel to be settled between two people, at least one person should admit. And that person must be me, eh? Mua. We are very happy that um, both of you have come together. Now we can enjoy a holiday. In fact, I am going to the market now. I want to prepare something special for this cause for celebration. Give me water, give me water. <coughs> I can't eat. <coughs> My mouth is burning. My mouth is burning. Give me water, give me water, give me water. <coughs> Why are you doing what Take the food, take the food. I can't eat, I can't eat. But there's little or no pepper in the soup. Me, I can't feel any pepper. How do you expect this to, to go down? How, how do you expect this to go down? I know. If I see somebody who is a witch, I can detect you, you are a witch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, nice. What do you expect when you eat soup that contains alligator pepper, Cameroon pepper, and our native dry pepper? 
Monica, Monica, you are wicked. You are wicked. <laughs> yes, I am a wicked woman. Uh, Shabby, I came down, kneeling down, begging you. Very wicked woman. You are wicked. <laughs> husband of a witch is a wizard. <laughs> Listen to me. When the paper goes down, you have to come back or your food is still on the table waiting for you. You must finish it though. <laughs> I came to leave that bag in you. <laughs> your food is waiting for you at the table. Come and finish it though. <laughs> So welcome to my humble abode. Come in, please. This is close to paradise, you know. Thank you. Um, explicit Italian furnishing. You see, I have a knack for good taste, believe me. Please, do make yourself comfortable, okay? Ah, excuse me, pardon my impudence. Sorry for the oversight. I'd like you to meet my sister, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. My name is Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Nice to meet you. Don't really, um, don't worry about her. She's, um, emotionally stressed at the moment because um, she just lost a two-year relationship with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend got married to her best friend. Oh, that was so heartless. Yeah, you know, we guys, we never know what we have. We never know, okay? But that's not like me, though. I know, sweet. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> sit down, make yourself comfortable. Um, Yeah. I really feel her pain. How could Michael be so heartless? He brings a lady into our matrimonial home right in my presence. I have got to put a stop to this now! Yeah, no, I know, I know what you're talking about. I understand perfectly. It's just that, you know, sometimes in life we all hurt, you know. But that's not what we're here to do, right? We can't be talking about someone who's hurting. After all, there are some people who are not hurting, like I'm not, you're not, are we? And we can't trade places now, can we? Uh-uh. Uh-huh, so you see? What would you like? Spirit? Um, Wine? Champagne. Champagne. Fantastic. Lucy! Lucy! Yes, sir. Yes, can you give me two glasses and then a bottle of champagne? On the double, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, my dear. Mm hmm. Uh, um, sweet. I'm so sorry to take you back to this, but I'm not comfortable here. Maybe after the wine. We go somewhere and chill out. Somewhere private, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? <laughs> How did you know? How did I know? Mm -hmm. Let's just say I have very good foresight and hindsight. You know, mm -hmm. for a girl like you, I can easily predict what you got running through that mind of yours. <laughs> you don't like it. I don't like it, huh? <laughs> Is it? Mm. <laughs>
It's not here. He's not here. Lord. I thought he's not going to be here. He promised me now he'll be here. Don't worry, just wait. I'm going, I'm going. I'm not, I'm not staying here again. I'm going. Just wait now. One minute. He's soon going to come. Uh, how could oh. Louis just come here and you not see him? I'm going you now. I'm going. Get a job. Yeah, I'm going to wait. But don't tell me that you do not see me. Hey, hey. Jack! Hey Uncle. Is that you? Of course. You are with someone? Oh, yes. Elizabeth, meet our uncle. Uncle, meet Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Please come over. <laughs> God, is that? Oh, good afternoon. And how are you, Elizabeth? Oh, good to see you. Oh. Okay, let's go over to my place. I brought some fruits for you. What? Cashew fruits. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you like it? Oh, I am glad to hear that. Uncle, you are blind. What happened to your sight? Ah, my eyes. My sight. Oh, come on, Jack. Don't be cross with her. Elizabeth. You see, I am a war veteran. And I lost my sight in a battle. Uncle, who is a war veteran? Oh, a war veteran is an old soldier who fought battles to protect the oneness of this country. You see, it's a long story, but I lost my sight in one of such battles. Sorry, but you know Papa. what? No, it's okay. You know what? I have since been all by myself, and all I do is to console myself with my guitar and my music. And then the pension I draw from the army from time to time. Um, Jack, do you remember our song? Oh, yes. Good. Elizabeth. Sir. You don't know the song, so you pay attention while we sing, all right? Jack, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, one, two, let's go. Little girl, don't cry, daddy's coming. 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 This a special day, daddy's coming home. very much for coming to keep me company. Uncle, when are we going to see you again? Tomorrow. But, Uncle, should we come to your house or we'll meet at our usual place? Oh, never mind. I will come over to your house because I have a message for your grandfather. So, children, you run along, huh? And Jack, 
Remember, she's your big sister. Never beat her up again. Huh? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. A thing bringing a girl to your matrimonial home this is the height of madness i had to get back at her you tore him with her feelings oh yeah they were toying with each other's feelings honestly you amaze me because there is no justification whatsoever in what you've done you were one peaceful family michael but suddenly everything falls apart do not blow this out of proportion would you please Some things are just better left inside. Oh, okay. Feel something really deep for you, Jenny. Love. Well, that might sound too immature, but I know my heart wishes to find a resting place in you. <laughs> cool, Tony. That's so sweet. You know, you choose your words so carefully, and that's a trait that I admire about you. Jenny, who is this? Wait a minute, is he meant to be like your husband or something? <laughs> Come on, Tommy! You're crazy, you know that? Him? My husband? Hell no! He's my brother! Okay. You know, he suffered from a very terrible divorce oh. and he's so emotionally wrecked. So, his, um, his behavior won't be typical. Who did you say I am? Oh, I see. So, your husband has now become your brother. That's it, huh? What? Husband? Well, I'm re really, really sorry, sir. She, she didn't tell me she was married. Relax. Relax. Are you crazy or something? Look here, let's just pretend this never happened, okay? You can't just walk away. Now you said everything. So why the jealousy? Or do you want to drop out now? Jennifer. The gods to bring a man into my own house. And in whose house did you bring in your slut to yesterday? Whose?
Wonders shall never end. What is really going on in this house? Or have the both lost their minds? Something. Oh, thank God the children are not here. This is really, really disgraceful. As of this moment, this marriage is over. Lucy! 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 Yes, sir. How are you? Where's my wife? Okay. I don't want to be disturbed. Baby, listen, um, I'm really sorry for whatever I've done to you. You know, I never would want to hurt you, baby. Please, forgive me, please. Look, got you a rose, which you like most. After all that has been said and done After all that has been going on I still miss you I guess it is time to call a truce. Yes, I have proved my point. He is obviously sorry, full of regrets and apologetic. Now I will take him back into my arms like that poppy that men are. And make him wag his tail at me. I still miss you I never thought that it would be this way I never thought that I will <laughs> And maybe a kiss will follow And then he will melt into my arms I happy when I stayed away from you Still miss you. <sighs> Smart move. He knows I love roses. 
gosh. I felt like kissing him when he held this in my face. But that would have been a sellout. All is fine that ends well, they say. This has ended. Cause I still wanna be with you. I still miss you. I never thought that it would be this way. I never thought that I will end this way I thought I will be happy when I stayed away from you